I'm going to have Kavendra come up, who's one of our council members. He has a heart for India right now because of the things going on in India. And Kavendra is going to share real quick a couple of thoughts that he wanted to convey to the body to pray over concerns that are things that are taking place in India. Go ahead, Kavendra. Hi everyone, my heart is so full as we went through the praise and worship and that's one thing about Faith Fellowship. I've been here coming here since 2003 mm -hmm. and each time I come my heart gets full. Amen. Pastor Vince, thank you for providing me the platform to mm -hmm. share my heart with what's going on with India mm -hmm. and happening in many countries. That's right. Thank you for your vision and leadership, mm, you're welcome. your heart for, the, for Faith Fellowship and the community. Mm -hmm. Um, and each time I talk to you, you're not just talking about the faith fellowship, you're talking about things beyond that. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that. You are welcome. Um, as many of you might have seen on the news and so on with what's going on with India. I'm so thankful for the Lord because at the end of the day, He's in control. Mm -hmm. There is about 1.4 billion people in India, mm -hmm. much smaller country than the U.S. There are uh, 24 million believers. Mm. In the last few months, COVID has really taken grasp of India. Mm. There is weekly, there is close to 400,000 case, new cases, and there are 4,000 deaths per day. There are issues with non-vaccines, issues with oxygen, no, not enough oxygen, or people don't get it. Uh, the hospitals, beds, uh, today, uh, people are using ambulances, uh, streets to basically create beds so people can basically get some comfort. So a lot of challenges. Wow. And uh, uh, the other thing is, I know that the government and all that is they're helping, but there's a lot of bureaucracy also, red tape and so on. And so it doesn't get to the, the, the individual level at times. Um, the Lord had uh, put upon my heart um, in the last few weeks. Uh, Pastor Vince mentioned something very important. Do, we pray, do you pray for others around the world? Do you pray for your own folks that are where you came from, or your parents came from, or your grandparents came from? Guess what? Sometimes we get caught in what we're doing here. The song says, thank you Lord for what you've done for me. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, and the reason why we do that is because we love the Lord. But there was a second important thing the Lord says, love your neighbor. Mm -hmm. And your neighbor is not just our family, our community, it's other people in all parts of the world. That's right, that's right. So that is the, fa that's the action we need to take. Mm -hmm. And my humble ask is that you pray, uh, at least as part of your prayer, pray for India. Specifically, specifically, because Lord asks, speak, pray specifically on specific things you want, and He will make things happen. Lord had opened up a door uh, for me uh, with a few contacts I have in India, and this is a grassroots effort. He opened up a door where, through a hospital, we were able to secure 20,000 vaccines. And I know this is the Lord's mm -hmm. doing. Mm -hmm. And so we are doing with... Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So what we're doing is, as a, a small team, we're putting together a process to basically immediately start vac helping people get vaccinated. And we're do starting with a group of people we know. Mm -hmm. uh, we have about, like just in Hyderabad, which is one, one city, large city, there is already like immediate people, we know 6,500 people. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pilot that and then we're going to model that and then replicate it throughout India mm -hmm. as a grassroots effort. So uh, ask is that you, you pray for basically uh, India Save Lives movement that we have. You pray that the Lord keeps on clearing the roads so that we can do what we have to do and remove the bureaucracy that the Lord provides more vaccines, more oxygen, more beds, more hospitals, other cities and other states throughout India. The doors open up so we can do the work that He wants us to do. 
Amen. So thank you, Pastor Vince. And Stay right there, yeah. Kavinda, though. Stay right there. Do you guys hear the passion in his heart for his people? And so we're going to for India and the rest of the world and as he said we are from different places and we are concerned about our neighbors and their experiences thank God we live in America in a very fortunate land but Jesus said it to pray for your neighbors and we are our brother's keeper so would you bow your heads with me and let's go before the Lord father in Jesus name there are people hurting around the world Kavindra is bringing up, Lord, the people that he dearly loves, family members and loved ones that are still left behind in India, Lord. But also, Lord, there are people on the continent of Africa, Lord, that we love. There are people, Lord, in various places all over the world, in Europe and, Lord, Asia. And so we lift them all up to you, Lord, our brothers. Our sisters God we pray right now for miracle for miracle works Lord that you would move mightily by your own hand that you would provide Father God you would open doors Lord that you Lord would cause a generosity to be stirred up in the people of God and that we would reach out and touch many because we know that praying moves heaven upon the nation of India Lord we pray in Jesus name 